What's up everybody, welcome back to the Cool Figures channel. If you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures. Unboxing them, analyzing them, and of course, playing with them. I try to upload new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so check back on those days for new uploads, or just hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And if you enjoyed this video by the end, please remember to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. The information on the channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. As always, I am your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, and today, guys, I have for you the NECA Ultimate Marty McFly Tales from Space version. So this is actually a Target exclusive, although NECA did just put this up on their um, Amazon and eBay uh, marketplace, so go ahead and check that out. Target.com also has this online. Um, surprisingly, uh, that actually really surprised me because with a lot of these NECA releases, you either have to just find them in stores or, you know, pay the scalper prices. But it seems like NECA is doing a really good job with this release and putting it online, not only on the retailer store, but as well as their own store and making it really accessible to the people that want it. And, um, you know, not making it so much of a challenge as some of their other figures have been to hunt down in the wild, such as their uh, animated Ninja Turtles and as well as their Walmart exclusive uh, 1990s TMNT movie uh, figures uh, so I brought you guys the other Marty figure uh, review the other day um, I believe that was last Friday so I'll link the, the video up above and so today let's take a look at this version but first off I just want to open up today saying that um, it's kind of an odd timing type of situation um i picked up this figure yesterday on the f what was it the third of october and today on the fourth um eddie van halen actually died from uh throat cancer and if you guys don't know he was actually the one that provided the riff in the scene that marty uses to uh scare his father into you know asking his mother out to the dance um and another little known fact is that it's not Van Halen the band, it's only him, so they couldn't use the Van Halen name. Um, so if you watch the, the movie and you look at the scene, it actually says Edward at the very top in small writing, and then they wrote Van Halen, his last name, in very big writing, uh, so that you would think that, or that most moviegoers would just catch that big Van Halen and assume it was the band, but in reality, it was only Eddie um, himself. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this figure's accessories. So first off, he comes with two heads, one with the helmet and one without. So this is his head without the helmet. So the paint app's a little, a little messed up on this side, but not too bad. Overall, it's a pretty good sculpt. Um, I like how he's in shocked and terror, kind of like when, um, you know, he first comes into 1955 and he doesn't really know where he's at or when he's at. Uh, so I thought that was really good. They captured that really well in the sculpt. He also comes with his helmet, but in a bunched up version like this so that he can carry it. You can photograph him holding it and stuff um, because the helmet he's wearing is not actually a full helmet. It's actually pieced together. So right there, it's the full helmet. But if you want to raise the helmet to where it's like he's looking, um, here's the half of the back and the other part. So I'll demonstrate that in a bit. But let's go ahead and take a look at his other accessories. So if you've seen the movie, you know that he uses a blow dryer as a weapon to you know, help sell that he's from space. I love this accessory because look, if you even look at the plug right here, you see the little silver prongs. You know, NECA is great at detail and um, you know, this is a perfect example. And then next we're gonna look at his Walkman, which is really cool because they include the headphones and everything. So that's really cool. So one side's kind of plain and whatnot, but the other side has a little bit of detail. Um, you can see there. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at his other helmet accessories. So right here is the bottom part that comes off, as well as the top part. Whoops. That off. 
and so then the shield can be raised and you can see the head sculpt here as well it's the same one as the alternate just with that with a helmet attached to it so if you want to do it with the helmet raised you would add the alternate backing go ahead and just put it right there whoops Let's see get a stick It's shaped like the helmet, so you have to just fit it up. I think it's right there. Then you have to add the little piece to the front. Oops. And there you go. Mari is all, you know. Whoops. Camera focus. And so that's how you transform the helmet into the version when he's has the shield face shield lifted so that's what the accessories basically do for him um, other than the walkman and the hairdryer so let's go ahead and take these things off because they just fall off sometimes um, but let's look, go ahead and look at his articulation let's go ahead and get the camera focused and so looking at his head he goes all the way to the left I'm sorry all the way to the right and all the way to the left as far as looking down he looks that much down and looking up he looks that much up which is basically just him looking straight at the camera him looking straight at you um, his arm articulation goes all the way up but just like the other Marty figure the joints are very tight um, he does have a double hinge joint uh, elbow joint right there um, he does have articulation in the wrist to rotate as well as down and up articulation Looking at his leg articulation, he kicks out pretty well. Uh, he doesn't go back too far. He only has a single hinge knee, which kind of gets hindered by the puffiness of the suit. Uh, so it doesn't go too far back. Um, looking at forward articulation, he goes about like that, far. Looking at his ankle, they go up a bit and that much down. And you have a um, what you would call it a ball joint at the ankle so you have a little bit of ankle rotation right there um, so all in all a really good figure especially articulate wise um, you know it's everything you'd expect from a NECA figure um, and then more because it is just very well detailed in my opinion I love this figure um, so let's go ahead and take some pics of him and we'll be right back Alright guys, thank you so much for sitting to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find more over at Cool Figures on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. This is a Euron YouTube channel, so that any and all likes are really appreciated and really help us out. And if you really did enjoy this video and we want to see more, please remember to hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.